At the outset, I would like to thank you, Mapicon, and uh, special thanks to the Dr. Vidhu Kumar Gupta for giving this opportunity. Disclaimer, this presentation is exclusively for the education and the motivational purpose. There is no conflict of the interest or any int uh, intention to hurt any uh, one person, fanatic government, media, uh, association or the organization. In fact, it is an observational and evidence-based uh, presentation. What are the sources of this uh, presentation? Then this presentation is based on the many discussions with the office leaders of the various medical associations to which I am and was associated, uh, esteemed IMA members and group of the senior, uh, senior physicians who want to restore the harmony among the government, healthcare providers, people, and to regain the lost dignity of the medical fraternity, especially of the doctors. We had also discussion with the various departments and the public too. In fact, it is an outcome of the holistic approach, discussion, evidences and the observations. So today, more topic to be discussed, that is, does law and ethics hamper the clinical practice and uh, increase the violence? Does law and ethics hamper the clinical practice and increase the violence? Answer, either yes or no. We will decide on the basis of the consensus at the end of this presentation. So law and ethics as per law and ethics, we are always confused what is wrong and what is right. Law and ethics are just opposite uh, terms, ethics and le uh, legal. Ethics, ethics is a set of the moral principles and the code of behavior that govern an individual section with other individuals we, uh, and within society. Law, law are the uh, societal rules and regulation that are obligatory to observe. Law have governed the practice of the medicine for over the hundred years. This is a combination of the law and ethics with doctor we have, the National Medical Commission, previously it was known as the Medical Council of India and the other states councils. There are a list of the licenses and the statutory obligations. You see, one, two, uh, 31, 47, 61, there are 72 laws and regulations. All the rules and regulations bred either or the corruption or they create the violence. This is the uh, effect of the law and the regulation. Always a sword hanging on the doctors uh, due to these laws and regulations. So how can a medical practice, especially doctor work under the regulation or over-regulation and plethora of the laws and the regulation, 72 laws, imbalance between the ethics and law that will hamper the clinical practice. This is our topic today. And leads to a dilemma in making the decision. We are confused how we make the proper decision due to this law and ethics. But what is the dilemma in making the decision? You see, if you are seeing an interesting match, your wife comes. You are confused. What should I see the match? or the talk to the wife. We are confused. Similarly, what are the medical decision dilemma? That is the behavioral dilemma. What should I do? And motivation dilemma. Why should I do it? Ethical dilemma is situation necessitating a choice between the two equal, usually undesirable alternatives. We have the two alternatives, undesirable. We have to choose. See the example. What is the need of the situation decision? We have to take at the time of the treatment. This is the decision. Mobile torch has the same to teenager life during the procedure. That was the aims of All India Institute of Medical Science at the LE. If it is a nursing owner, then we will end up. If the results are favorable, no one bothers or gives the credit. If results are not very favorable, then lead to either they prove the negligence of the doctor or as all the doctors. This, if the results are unfavorable. What are the issues and the concern to the doctors due to law and ethics? What are the problems comes due to this, these issues? So what is the unexpected communication gap created by the third party or the media among the doctors, patient and their attendants due to the law and ethics and other ethics itself? 
creates a problem. And the government rules and regulation like Clinical Establishment Act and the CPA or etc. And guidelines and the protocols mainly framed by the non-medical personnel, not the medical person. This is the problem. And partial, partial and the unfair behavior of the government, especially towards the doctors. Most of the time, unnecessary punishment to the doctors for no fault or the petty reason. And management of the disease by the bureaucrats and the official novelty. They are treating the disease, especially in the COVID uh, pandemic. And media says, man, they will give the judgment in the uh, evening. Court cannot give, but they give the judgment in the evening. They tell the doctor is at fault and their news contents. And another the violence and assault on the doctors. This is a big problem at present. So violence against the doctors was almost nil or the minimal in the day-to-day -day practice, clinical practice, when the profession was considered as a noble one, when there was no political interference in the treatment and no businessman or the corporate involvement in or interference in the treatment and no consumer production was there and, and people were satisfied with the available resources and infrastructure and available treatment. People are satisfied at that time. So, violence against the doctor has increased in day-to-day -day clinical practice due to the Google and media made the various treatment options available to the people with the advertisement or the, even the online buy. I will not name anyone. So, the, there is a lack of the infrastructure and the modern equipment in the hospital and disease are always managed by the non-medical nowadays. And miscreants, miscreants, compel the people to go against the modern medicine. But they avail it become when they become the sick as per our survey. We have surveyed whenever they, they miscreants uh, fall ill, they will go to the uh, hospital for the modern allopathic treatment. At the same time, people want the high-tech treatment. This is the problem. So, Google and media, me, media has made everyone how big treating doctor, especially in India. Because doctor they always make the how big treating doctor. Over expectation of outcome or the treatment, irrespective of the disease, cancer hoga, to be hundred percent chahiye, TB hoga, to be hundred percent chahiye. Koi bhi disease ho, they want that hundred percent result. And stage of the disease of the patient, they don't bother at which they get that treated in the hospital. Another is the private-public partnership model health care system. This is a big problem of the rules. And real health care providers, especially doctors, are always remain the sub target from for the public to the government, including the media. So, what is the impact of the violence against the doctor? What will happen if there is a violence? They made the stormy time for the health care providers. Health care system at the verge of the collapse and breach in the relationship among the government, doctors, and the public. This is the stormy time for the healthcare system due to the violence. So, violence is still on. This is the recent example in the Assam, in the first June. And what will happen to the doctors if they are assaulted by the, uh, uh, assaulted by public? There is a broken relationship. The doctors will be drug abused or they will abuse, uh, they will take the alcohol addicts and they will go to the depression or sometimes you have seen so many doctors are uh, committing suicide. This is the personal problem for the doctors or the healthcare provider. If the uh, assault is continue, then there is a decreased quality of the care in the patient care system, in the healthcare system that will increase the medical errors. If you do the work under the tension, definitely you will make the more mistake that will be converted to the negligence later on. And there is a decrease patient satisfaction. We cannot uh, satisfy the patient. And decrease the productivity and the profession efforts. And physician turnover is the, this is the problem if uh, doctors are being uh, assaulted day to day practice. And in spite of there is so many violence, facing violence, still doctors are morally bound, duty bound. And in the COVID, what they call the COVID warriors. What a great picture, which shows how a doctor is trying to save the life, but not caring about his life. 
sell you to that vendor from dear friends. What happens if you take the data all over the India? You see approximately 2,000 doctors COVID martyr at present during the first and second wave of the COVID virus. This is the scenario of today. And what will happen? The, what the, the bureaucrats and the politicians do? Bureaucrats and the politicians always overload the doctors and keep them sell, uh, themselves safe. See, the doctor is overloaded, or the IIS officer and all the politicians, they keep sell all the, the safe. So, as per survey about the option of the patient treatment, we have asked many people, uh, where you want to your patient treated, treated, they say the result, people option was only well equipped and high tech hospitals. But everyone expected uh, advanced and high tech treatment, either free of the cost or the charitable basis, with the help of either with the government or the data or the trustee. They want the free of the cost of treatment or the charitable basis. What is the truth and what was the truth and is truth? It is not possible for the uh, well, corporate or the private hospital uh, to deliver the healthcare system. Then it will lead to a one dialogue only. Doctors are They will not say to any corporate or the private hospital, but they say doctors are If the people fail to get the treatment or the, or the healthcare services, free of the cost of the charitable basis, what will be the consequences? They will assault the warriors in the anger. They will assault whosoever come in front of them they will assault, especially of the doctors, and take the canoe or the law in the hands. And this is a scenario of today. Patient and their dependent, and the doctors and healthcare providers. See, this is a scenario. But what is the need of the hours? Need of the hours? Awareness about their strong step. It is wrong step. When we should aware and ask them, think twice or the before the act. If they assault your doctor or the healthcare provider, means you are assaulting yourself. If you uh, assault your doctor, you will also be uh, committing suicide. So, what is the, there is a change in the uh, safety. You see the safety. It is the safety provided by the healthcare provider, especially by the doctor. It is the safety provided by the public to the doctor. This is the violence. <clears throat> this is the violence. So, have you ever thought who are the sufferer or the violence? Only doctor, patient, and their attendant are suffer. The hospital will not. Uh, there was a case in the Max Hospital in Delhi. Max is also going very well, but the doctors end up attendants one only suffer. I will add one more in this list that is a taxpayer. They are also suffer. And loss of the property, either the private hospital, the corporate, add in the bill of the patient bill and bill the, the fellow patient bill that will build up the extra load on the fellow patient or their attendant. Or if they are not getting from them, then they will recover from the proficiency of the doctors. That is the extra burden of the doctor. And if they damage the hospital is the government one, then extra burden to the taxpayer. They will increase the taxes of the uh, taxpayers. Then what was the wrong thing? The COVID pandemic management was managed by the non-medical. Uh, see this graph. The webinar as the corona cases are increasing. The earning of everyone has gone down, or sometimes they there the nil earning. Bureau grades and the officials were missing from this management graph. Why? Because they are not accountable and getting the full salary. They are getting the full salary without any cut. And but they are managing the show with the zero knowledge of COVID-19. This is a scenario of today. Medical facilities are helpless due to the dominancy of the non-medical because they are managing the cases. So it was a matter of the concern and the painful when the real doctors were not allowed to apply their expertise to manage the COVID-19 in the first wave. Confusion created by the non-medical in the prevention, this, this is the scenario. If you, are, you have to get the rt uh, or PCR while you are traveling to the world, but the plumbing of the all med uh, medical persons and their family members and the member of uh, MP, they are exempted from this bed. Why? I will ask you, why? Are they immune to contract the COVID infection? Can't they be spreader? And will the COVID virus spare them? And the order spare them? No. But are they are not included in the human to human transmission? They are not a human being. They can transfer. But this should not be because 
this thing made by the non medical person that's why they have given the exemption to the armed forces personnel or the member of the parliament they have given so do the media and the movie create the problem yes they are seeing the same picture they give with the different view there is accident they are showing the accident but there is no accident a real picture so it depends on the media see that is the doctor at fault the doctor is unaware about this picture this is the professor from the aims cervical cancer se bachne ke liye tika karan ke liye they are showing the cervical spine is the doctor is supposed to know but doctor has to say see the article while the uh, this is being uh, published the doctor must see see before publishing this uh, paper how this can be prevented at the media show the media and the movie maker a uh, debate discussion and the making the movies on the controversy of the sensitive issue without any evidence and making mockery of the noble profession our is a noble profession don't allow them to make the mockery and making the unreal back to the real back so dear friend who will take the action we are on the protection all that we are not responsible only national medical commission and the state medical council in association with the medical association they are no ngos they should take the help of the medical association so nmc must take the legal action on the film maker uh, makers and the, their directors they should be punished for instigating the public and creating the breach in the trust among the government medical fraternity and the public so and making the healthcare system very weak if they do like this they will uh, make the healthcare system very weak so what is the judiciary in indian judiciary system we are unable to get the proper i will not say right proper and apt judgment as it is a document uh, documents and evidence basis sometimes the same person is behind the bar or after that same same evidence and same document they are outside the bar this is a scenario of the judiciary but medical practice dear friends no document uh, document or the evidence dependent it is situation and the experiment uh, experience based this is the only uh, practice so lack of the knowledge and the coordination and among imbalance between the law and ethics all are the above hamper the day to day clinical practice so who are responsible for this problem public government hospital medical fraternity uh, and media or the law i will tell you it is a questionable so as per our observations and the survey at the different level region are as fellow lack of the proper awareness and the uh, public uh, lack levels lack of the coordination among the government medical fraternity ima and public and the doctors and unseen fear and the dull and lack of the available resources imbalance in law and ethics media involvement and i will talk about the only imbalance in the law and ethics today so how this can be improved updating the knowledge and every every people from the patient to the doctors and healthcare providers and enhance the coordination to make the to make the strong healthcare system so this is the scenario and the thoughts of the everyone they say kripya yahan gyanmat padiye that's a gyanmat padiye that's why they don't attend any uh, conference or the seminar so we must update ourselves from the a level resource jaise three idiots mein kehta hai ki jahan se knowledge mile wahan se batao lijiye so law and ethics have made the prevention and management just like a broken bridge due to the lack of the resources and manpower and creates a lot of the issues and the problems uh, to deliver services with the available resources so this is a scenario power of the working in the team team work and uh, the power of the team work and make the impossible possible you have to make it possible so if the government iim doctors all medical associations and the healthcare provider and the public must work together as a team with the combined parts then we are able we can deliver the best and excellent services to the people with the available resources because we are having the limited resources so what is the need of the us softening rules and regulation with a special consideration the field of medicine practice as it is evidence based experience based or the situation based i have told you in, in improve the infrastructure and the uh, services of the hospital appoint the trained staff reception to casualty onwards with the updating them and empower them time to time and doctor unity and the team work without criticism charity and free of the cost services to the only needy persons only and have the coordination and updating the public at large 
about the disease and their complication time to time. Punishment only to the negligent person. We will not say you don't give the uh, punishment, but only negligency for the negligency, not the medical error. But you should uh, punish for the negligency after the proper investigation. Media must be out of the healthcare system for the betterment of the preventive and the management measures or work with the quality approach to help the healthcare provider to deliver the services. So negative approach by the media, negative approach are creates unrest and unseen fear among the public and the healthcare provider leads to the violence and the assault of the doctors. And positive attitude will help to prevent or stop the violence or the assault against the doctor. Real positive attitude will help the health providers to extend the better services with the available services that will definitely help to prevent or stop the violence and the assault of the doctors. Important facts of the life, a big difference between the money and the money and time. We always know how much money we have, but we never know how much time we have when we should let us always value the time. Similarly, about the law and ethics and the pursuit of violence, we always know law and ethics we have to observe, but we never know about the violence when it occurs. Let us always value our safety and the dignity first and enjoy all the available resources uh, our resources which we have and make our present time beautiful, memorable and the violence free, violence free with uh, our own combined efforts. So what is the conclusion of the today topic, uh, uh, topics? Dodge, law and ethics, hamper clinical practice and increase the violence? Yes or no? In my opinion, I guess or the anticipate that the majority will vote for the yes. If I am wrong, then you can vote against it. But in my opinion, for the guess, anticipate the yes. So, dear friends, if anyone wants my presentation or the slide, you can write to the, this email ID. I will send all the presentation to you. Thank you very much for listening uh, patiently. Thank you. Thank you very much.